On your side tonight, taking a deep dive. Let's give you a live look here. Freedom Boat Club on Lake Norman. Always pretty to see the sun setting. Uh, many of us love a relaxing day on the water, but you know, after sometimes a little too much fun, uh, it's easy to lose an item or two, perhaps right in the lake. Uh, a local scuba diver is discovering some of those items hidden under the water. Our photojournalist Greg Simpson went along for one of his adventures. He uses his camera to show us what they found. We're in uh, at Blythe Landing on Lake Norman, a public boat ramp. Well, this, this boat ramp here will be crowded on the weekends. I mean, pretty much every parking space is taken. Typically weekdays is when I like to come out here on Lake Norman. I just like being in the water. It's, it's a beautiful day. There's nobody out here on Mondays. This is kind of my prime day to go out on the lake. Just have it all to myself. Today we're going scuba diving at some of the popular spots to see what we can find what people have lost. We moved to this area early 90s and my brother and I one day were diving around uh, close to where my parents lived and you know we found an item that was just snorkeling and then we kept diving and found, uh, found other things that eventually both of us got scuba certified and you know went to greater depths. You never know what you're going to find if you're going to find a, a fishing rod, an iPhone. Let's make sure we got enough air. You might find a wallet which I try to uh, give back to the person since their ID's in there, so. One last check to make sure I'm there. Find some necklaces, I mean, you know, cheaper necklaces, but really anything that hits the bottom is gonna sort of disappear into the silt. I usually find uh, boat anchors, tons of sunglasses, uh, fishing nets, fishing rods. I found a boat engine before, a boat, motorcycle, USPS drop boxes. I found a cash register once, but there was nothing in it. Any other kind of uh, fishing lures, just anything that's on your boat that sinks. No people yet. No, luckily, <laughs> luckily no. I hope, I hope that never happens. All right, let's take a look at what we, what we got here. Some of these goggles, uh, boat anchor. Found something for Greg in here. Let's see. Those might be his style. These might be his style. I just, I like seeing what's at the bottom of the lake. It's kind of a unknown area. I know a lot of people are scared of it. Sometimes people ask me to retrieve items that are 10 feet deep and I kind of wonder why they didn't go down themselves but I know I think a lot of people are scared of the bottom of the lake they think there's some kind of undercurrent or something that's gonna suck them under they're gonna be caught in a barbed wire fence or fishing line but I've never I've never seen any of those situations or been any of those you know they can only see two feet into the water so it's just kind of you know what's what's lurking below I guess here are the Gucci's I don't know if they're my style. I think I prefer my Costa Del Mars. I just enjoy being on the lake and whether it's fishing, diving, boating, taking my dog swimming, I just, it's just my, my place, my place to unwind and relax. I'll tell you what, right here are the Gucci's. We got them right here. We got them all cleaned up. How are they looking? Pretty good, Rachel, huh? So sharp. Not bad, so huh? Sharp. Not bad at all. Bryce was right. <laughs> and you have to pay a nickel for these. But there you oh, go. Somebody's amazing. Gucci sunglasses. There we go. They were found. How about oh, that? Right. I might need some.